Hey movie buffs and Ziozon fans. Curious about what the Legend of the Condor Heroes will bring to the big screen this New Year's Eve? Keep reading to find out why this film is shaping up to be a must-watch. As we approach the end of 2024, all eyes are on the Legend of the Condor Heroes, set to be released on December 31st. This release is not just a significant event for the film industry but also a tribute to the 100th anniversary of Jin Yuong, the master of martial arts novels. Fans of both Zio Zan and the classic novel are abuzz with excitement, creating a buzz that promises to elevate the film's status as a major cultural milestone. Directed by the legendary Sui Hark, known for his innovative approach to filmmaking, the Legend of the Condor Heroes is poised to be a cinematic marvel. Sui Hark's tenure dedication to integrating cutting-edge technology with the essence of traditional martial arts promises to bring a fresh and immersive viewing experience. The film combines dynamic action sequences with sweeping landscapes, capturing the spirit of Jin Yong's original work while incorporating modern cinematic advancements. Ziozan who takes on the iconic role of Guo Jing, has added a new layer of anticipation. His acting career has flourished since his breakout role, and this film represents his first major big-screen endeavor. Fans and industry experts alike are keen to see how Zio Zun, known for his dedication to his craft, will embody the noble and courageous Guo Jing. His transformation for the role has been impressive, from growing his hair to building muscle, Zio Zan's commitment has already earned praise. His performance is expected to deliver more than just action, it is a chance for Zio Zan to prove his versatility and stamina as an actor. The film's significance extends beyond the star power of Zio Zan. This release, timed perfectly for New Year's Eve, is being viewed as a celebratory moment for martial arts cinema with many hoping that it will reinvigorate the genre. Sui Hark's vision, combined with the strong fanbase of Zio Zun, guarantees that the film will be one of the most talked about releases of the year. With anticipation building, fans are eagerly awaiting what could be a landmark film, blending the rich tradition of Jin Yong's storytelling with the cutting-edge creativity of Sui Hark and the undeniable charisma of Zio Zun. The Legend of the Condor Heroes is set to be a cinematic experience that fans won't want to miss. After the excitement and fanfare of the National Day holiday, the Chinese TV drama market has entered an unexpected lull, leaving audiences disappointed. Despite the high anticipation surrounding several major productions, the post-holiday period has brought a quiet downturn in the entertainment industry. Many viewers, eager for the release of much-hyped shows, have found themselves underwhelmed by the results. This subdued atmosphere has sparked concern among fans, actors, and production companies alike, as the once-promising landscape of Chinese television drama struggles to live up to expectations. One of the most highly anticipated dramas during this period was Black Moon, a project from the same creative team that brought the hit drama News Queen. The success of News Queen had set a high bar, and expectations were understandably high for Black Moon. However, the show has failed to capture the same magic, and its underperformance has raised the questions about its potential long-term impact on the careers of those involved, particularly that of lead actress Yang Yi. Yang Yi, a well-known and respected actress in the Chinese entertainment industry, had seen a resurgence in her popularity following the success of News Queen. Her portrayal of a strong, complex female lead in that drama was lauded by both critics and fans, leading to high hopes for her role in Black Moon. Unfortunately, the lackluster reception of the new show has cast out on her ability to continue riding the wave of success. While it may be too early to make any definitive statements about Yang Yi's career trajectory, the drama's performance could serve as a wake-up call for her and her management team, prompting them to be more discerning about future projects. Another highly anticipated production that has failed to meet expectations is Seven Nights of Snow. This drama, based on a well-known intellectual property, IP, and starring the popular actors Lee Kan and Zhang Shanxi, seemed poised for success. 
The combination of a beloved story and a high-profile cast led many to believe that Seven Nights of Snow would become one of the standout dramas of the season. However, despite its promising elements, the drama's production quality has come under scrutiny. Critics have pointed to several factors that have contributed to the drama's underwhelming reception. From technical issues to pacing problems, Seven Nights of Snow has not lived up to the standards expected of a production with such a strong foundation. The chemistry between the lead actors, while initially exciting for fans, has also been questioned, with some arguing that the on-screen relationship lacks the depth and intensity needed to truly bring the story to life. This has left many wondering whether the drama's creators missed an opportunity to fully capitalize on the IP's potential. The challenges facing both Black Moon and Seven Nights of Snow reflect broader issues in the Chinese TV drama market. While there is no shortage of creative ideas and talented actors, the industry has struggled to consistently deliver high-quality productions that resonate with audiences. This is especially concerning for video platforms, which rely heavily on these big-budget dramas to attract and retain subscribers. Platforms such as IKEA. Tencent Video, and Yoku have each experienced a period of stagnation, as lackluster content fails to generate the excitement needed to drive viewership. Despite this, each platform still possesses unique strengths that could give them an edge once better productions are released. For instance, IKIE is known for its focus on innovative and experimental programming, while Tencent Video boasts strong partnerships with some of China's top production companies. Yoku, meanwhile, has made strides in expanding its international presence, which could pay off in the long run if it can capitalize on global interest in Chinese dramas. However, the current quiet in the market is a reminder that even the most well-established platforms are vulnerable to the ebbs and flows of the entertainment industry. As viewers grow increasingly selective about the content they consume, Platforms must ensure they are offering top-tier productions to maintain their competitive edge. The success of future releases will likely determine which platform can emerge from this lull with renewed strength. Looking forward, there is some optimism on the horizon. One production that has generated considerable buzz is Kingming Riverside. This drama, which recently wrapped filming, is being touted as a potential game-changer for the industry. Set during the Song Dynasty in the city of Bianlian, Kingming Riverside promises to offer viewers a blend of everyday life and mysterious events. The drama's high-caliber production quality, combined with an intriguing cast, suggests it may be able to break through the current malaise gripping the industry. The concept of Kingming Riverside is particularly appealing because it taps into a historical setting that has not been overly explored in recent years. The Song Dynasty, often overshadowed by other periods in Chinese history, offers a wealth of narrative possibilities, and Kingming Riverside seems poised to take full advantage of them. The blending of mundane, everyday experiences with supernatural or mysterious occurrences could create a unique and captivating viewing experience. Moreover, the show's attention to detail in recreating the atmosphere of the Song Dynasty has been praised by those who have had a sneak peek at the production. From the intricate costumes to the carefully designed sets, Kingming Riverside appears to be a visual feast that could transport audiences back in time. If the storytelling matches the production quality, this drama could become a standout hit, helping to revitalize the TV drama market. In conclusion, while the post-National Day period has been marked by disappointment and underwhelming performances in the Chinese TV drama market, there are glimmers of hope on the horizon. Productions like Black Moon and Seven Nights of Snow may have failed to meet expectations, but upcoming projects like Kingming Riverside offer the promise of a brighter future. As video platforms navigate this challenging period, the industry will need to focus on delivering high-quality content to win back the trust and excitement of viewers.